All right, we're moving on to Thursday. And the week prior, I had shared my story, I believe it was either a week prior or two weeks prior, I was featured in the Think Aorta su Success Story. And so what is the Think Aorta Success Story? Basically, we know that aortic disease runs in family and it's much more common than you think. Definitely elusive compared to that rare aortic dissection. And we always say, when in doubt, get it checked out. We fully support this campaign, as does the Aortic Dissection Awareness Group in the UK and Ireland and Aortic Bridge. Think Aorta is basically trying to push their campaign of Think Aorta, Think Family. And if you're part of this aortic disease community, then you really need to consider supporting Think Aorta US's efforts and being part of this initiative, having an opportunity to be featured. We want to know if you've had that important conversation, albeit awkward, with your family members. Have you sat down and really talked about your family medical history in its entirety. Do you know if anybody passed away suddenly? Were there brain aneurysms? Were there aortic aneurysms? Stroke, diabetes, cancer, heart disease, any of these issues, you should be discussing them with your physicians and amongst yourselves because there is a chance that this is going to run in your family now or at some point in the future. So they wanna hear from you. They wanna know, did you have this conversation? And have you had your family members receive any type of testing? This could be research genetic testing, clinical genetic testing, and or uh, just having the conversations with the physicians and having had maybe an MRI or a CT. What have you done? How are you checking to make sure your immediate family members, siblings, children, parents? That's your immediate. Have anybody been tested? Have they had uh, that conversation? Again, tests can be, if you're doing genetic or it can be otherwise. And if you have, we wanna know. I don't need to know what the outcome was. We just wanna know that you had it done because that's the important thing. That's going to be the first line of defense. Not let's, let's, let's help save somebody through this process of having had a dissection, let's provide them support, which is what Aortic Hope is responsible for doing okay, you've had an aneurysm repaired, Aortic Hope is here to provide you the support groups and the means to do that. Let's keep going back. Let's go back and back and let's think Aorta. Let's talk about if this has happened to us in the community, what can we do to determine if there's another family member that is going to be diagnosed and then monitored to prohibit any of these other issues from happening. Let's stop it before that dissection occurs. So I have been featured and when you're featured, you will get to have your family photo placed up here and you'll get to have that piece of marketing campaign that you can then post on all your social media. You can print it off and include it in a letter and put it in snail mail if you don't have an email address. It's just very important to get the word out. And we'd like to know from you how all of that went. So uh, we ideally would love for you to share this story on our YouTube channel, I'm sorry, on their YouTube channel. Uh, of course, we'll be sharing that here on Aorta Cope. Doing it live, taking any questions from the community. Uh, you can also pre-record it if you'd want. And if you really are opposed to that and you wanna just write your story out, this is different than a survivor series. Although you can combine the two and we can, we can handle things on our end seamlessly uh, and just share your story. But this is really hyper-focused on that Think Aorta, Think Family project. So Terry, what are your thoughts about that? do it. <laughs> now, the Think Aorta, Think Family is so important um, because I, for myself, you know, I couldn't figure out where my dissections came from. I've had my son already tested and it is so important. And the one thing I wanted to mention is it. you said that it should sometimes can be an awkward conversation. It should not be an awkward conversation. You know, this is your health. This is your life. You need your family history. And it, it just do it. You should. It shouldn't be awkward. I don't think it has to be awkward. It's for the good, and it can help you save a life. Right. Well, it's for the betterment of your own family, and ultimately, if you do go down that route of having uh, that route of having research uh, genetic testing, well, now it's the betterment of the entire community, and of course, sure. the organization to go to for that type of research and genetic testing would be the John Ritter Research Program, which is funded in part by the John Ritter, uh, uh, the John Ritter Foundation of Aortic and Vascular Health. Make sure I get all the names right. 
So that, that's an organization that you should reach out to if you're looking to participate in a research study around genetic testing. And again, that's very, very different than if you talk to your doctor about uh, receiving genetic testing through GeneDx or Invitae, of which most of it is going to end up being being paid for through insurance, or insurance. they're usually capped those fees at 250. Yes. So, and and when I say awkward, I think you would probably agree that I think in our grandparents' days, for sure, they don't talk about health. They didn't even talk about their own health. I mean, it was no. taboo. We don't talk about bodies, and I don't. I think if we talked with our parents, our age group spoke to their parental units, they'd find that they don't know what their grandparents died from. Oh, he just died suddenly. They chalked it up to heart attacks because that's what they did. Right. And now, thankfully, keep coming down in our age bracket, we're very open because we're, we're understanding the role that genetics plays. And I would only hope that this, this openness continues and it just never uh, wavers moving yeah. forward. Correct. And the technology is so different now. You know, when mm -hmm. our grandparents, they didn't have this. They Again, they talked everything up to a heart attack. They wouldn't have known what to look for. And right. it's just the technology with all the scans that Adam's going to talk about this month, all the scans and everything else, it puts it all together for us that this conversation will not, hopefully will end up not being awkward with our children and their children and further down the line when we're long gone. Exactly. 